Well, there's certainly a case sticking with equities because we have a very positive combination of you know, better than expected growth around the world um, and lower than expected inflation um, you know, on, an, on a wide variety of measures. But that is mainly the case in the US. So we have a clear preference for the US um, you know, over Europe. Um, you know, you have a number of headwinds in Europe, in particular the German IFO, which is at you know, multi-year lows, doesn't really signal much business confidence. The US is very different. Yeah, so, so you're sticking US. Is that, again, tech? Do you stay in predominantly or do you feel like there is this broadening out that is perhaps beginning to happen? albeit very slowly. Yeah, so tech has certainly led the gains, you know, last year and also so far this year as well, but it's starting to broaden out. So if you have an equally weighted index or you look, you know, at other sectors as well, it is starting to broaden out. And we're happy to do that, um, you know, because of that resilience of the U.S. economy, because of the margins that are there. You know, so we're also, for example, in consumer, um, you know, discretionary. Telecom has been doing well, um, you know, and um, uh, also, um, you know, the financials even as well. Mm. So very much a cyclical confidence that is being expressed in the US equity market. Um, far be it for any of us to judge Warren Buffett, and I would never even attempt to do so, but I would certainly discuss Warren Buffett rather than judge him. Um, he's got $170 billion, give or take, earning, I don't know, 4 or 5% on the Treasury market, whatever he's earning from it. He's not putting that capital to work. What are your thoughts when you see that? So we put our cash to work. Um, you know, last well, year for it to work. He's just earning yes, 5 exactly. On it. Well, exactly. So you can put it to work either in cash or in yeah. the treasury market or in in, yeah. in the equity market. Um, so we need to be specific around what we what we mean when we put cash to work. We would we we take it out of cash and we put it in diversified portfolios, which is because we see opportunities in bonds, in equities, and also in alternative assets. Yeah. You know, if you weren't invested last year, you had around five percent return. If you were in a very boring, moderate risk portfolio but yeah. diversified, you had fourteen percent already. This year as well, you have that, uh, you know, you, you have an outperformance. Because there are many opportunities, we do think that your yields are going to come back down in the bond market. So high-grade bonds are, have opportunities. In the equity market, we see the opportunities in the U.S. and in Japan. And then in alls, we see it in private equity, private credit, and in infrastructure. Fair enough. Why is the U.S. market in particular, and you know, to a certain extent the euro stocks as well, why is it negating the impact of 500 basis points of hikes in the United States? Mm. And looking, well, we know why, because the employment remains strong, the household balance sheet isn't falling apart at the moment, corporates seem to be coping very well. Why has policy failed to dent the economy more aggressively? And if so, are we going to, mm. if it hasn't dented, are we actually going to see a landing at all? Well, the question is whether we need to land, um, you know, the economy to crush inflation. And that is really sort of, you know, what, what Powell had been talking about last year. Initially, uh, his, his staff members thought very much you needed a recession to crush inflation. He didn't think so. And we're probably now, indeed, the market is now discussing rather than do we have a hard landing or a soft landing, we have a soft landing or no landing at all. Um, and if you look at the Atlanta Fed, again, for this uh, quarter, forecasting, you know, around 2.9% growth, uh, you know, again. So, um, you know, it may well be that we don't get that soft, uh, don't get a landing at all and um, that you still, nevertheless, in an environment where inflation is relatively well behaved.